guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you enjoy the video, please feel free at any time to hit subscribe if you wanna see some more content from me. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing four fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and alcohol-free sunscreens. Yes, it's not that easy to find, right? Like sunscreen's just complicated as it is, and then when you add all that in, it, it's hard, I know. So I've rounded up four of some of my favorite ones. These are some great, excellent products for you guys. And um, I am only gonna be reviewing chemical sunscreens in this video. If you are looking for mineral sunscreens, fear not, that video is in the works. So stay tuned, it's coming up soon. And if you've ever wondered how to reapply your sunscreen over your full face of makeup, definitely stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna be revealing my uh, tips and tricks for that. So if you're so ready to find out about the four sunscreens, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So let's start with some J Beauty, and this is the Verdio UV Moisture Essence, SPF 50 plus with a PA of plus four. This sunscreen uses four different chemical filters, and it's a pretty interesting mix of what they are using. The majority of them are a new generation, very photo stable filters. The first one is Oxtinoate. This is a filter that filters out UVB rays. This is not considered a new generation filter. Now, um, when I say that, what I mean is the newer chemical filters out there on the market that have better photo stability, they um, protect your skin for longer, for better periods of time, right? Um, this is not one of them. And actually, I found out that this is one of the ingredients that is um, not that great for the ocean. Uh, and I didn't realize that. So this is not, um, maybe not the best ingredient to be found in here, something to be aware of. It is also slightly unstable. It's one of those ingredients that benefit from the overall formulation of other filters that can kind of help bring up its photo stability. So it has been formulated with Tinosorb S, which is really the golden wonderkin of new generation chemical filters. This is really one of the highest standards. It is broad spectrum, which means it covers both UVB and UVA rays. It's incredibly photo stable. It has really great protection, and it is one of those ingredients that can kind of help stabilize and lift up the other filters in the formulation. The other two filters here is UV Vinyl A+, plus, which has really excellent UVA protection, and Octocrylin, which is UVB protective filter with some UVA protection. And both of these filters um, have very, very good high photo stability. Now, whenever I'm looking at the ingredients for a sunscreen, obviously the filters are the number one thing that I'm looking at, right? I really wanna know the composition of the sunscreen and do I feel like it's gonna give me effective coverage. Of course, I'm always looking that it's it's fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and essential oil-free, but there's one other thing I look at, and that is antioxidants. Now, are you going to gain a lot of skincare benefits from your sunscreens, like brightening, soothing? Uh, probably not. But antioxidants, on the other hand, do help boost the overall formulation and the effectiveness of your sunscreen. Antioxidants and UV filters are best friends. They work better together. So it is always nice to see them in the ingredients list. In this particular sunscreen from Verdio, we have quite a bit. So there's vitamin E, green tea leaf extract. We have skull cap root. Uh, we also have Job's tears, which is referred to on the bottle as Adelaide, which is just pearl barley extract. So the texture is quite a moisturizing but lightweight cream texture. It spreads beautifully across the skin. It's not a thick layer. It uh, absorbs and dries down very quickly. Uh, and there's no pilling. I didn't get pilling when I applied it. I didn't get pilling when I reapplied it. White cast wise, none detected on my skin tone. Um, this was quite invisible, honestly. It really does um, blend into the skin very, very seamlessly without any white cast. And there is some moisturization to this one and I do believe that it leaves just a tiny bit of shininess on the skin. I don't mind that. I embrace the shine. I like the shine. I call it dew. You know, I'll take all the dewiness I can get. But I, I do recognize that some people with a lot more oil on their skin 
may not appreciate this tiny bit of shine to the skin. It's not greasy, it's just a little bit of shine, uh, but it's definitely something that you should be aware of. Performance wise, you know, I was actually very impressed by this sunscreen. It, um, it performs beautifully. Really, the texture, so incredibly lightweight. You know, it is one of those products you can, confer you can forget that you applied it because you can't feel it on your skin. Once you've put it on and it's absorbed, you don't feel it. And I always get that like, you know, a couple days a week, I'll get that panic, like, wait, did I put my sunscreen on? Like, I can't remember. <laughs> I was so tired when I did my morning routine. Did I put it on? Uh, and you could easily forget that you put this on because you can't feel it. It is not thick. It is not heavy. It's got such a pleasing, easy to use texture. You don't have to work it into your skin. It really just glides effortlessly. It, it dries invisible on the skin. Even on reapplication, it doesn't make your skin feel thick. Like, I'm so, so happy. Price-wise, amazing. I got this for $7 on YesStyle for 50 milliliters of product. $7, under 10 bucks. And look at like how elegant it is. Look at the protection that it's giving. Like I'm really very, very impressed with all of that. Um, just fantastic. Now, the only thing that I would say is the oily skin issue again, just a little bit of shine that some people may not like. It does add some moisture to the skin. So I'm really gonna be uh, recommending this one for more combination skin all the way up to dry skin. And if you are dehydrated, this is not the type of sunscreen, at least in my experience, that pulls moisture from the skin. It's very comfortable. Okay, the next brand is a brand from Korea. It is a fairly new brand. It's actually the first product I've tried from this brand and I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I, I've heard it pronounced three different ways and I don't know which one is right and I spent a long time trying to figure this out. So if you guys know the proper way, let me know in the comment box below. So the brand, I've heard it pronounced Hige, I've heard it pronounced Hige, and I've heard it pronounced Huga. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hige Hige Huga, um, and this is their Relief Sun Moisturizer, SPF 50 plus PA plus four. I'm gonna make the executive decision to call it Hige throughout this review, but yeah, definitely let me know. So the brand's name is actually based on a Danish word, Huga, and it's all about being cozy and comfortable. You've probably heard of this word before, and that's really where the brand comes in um, on this, this sort of lifestyle idea. And really for them, it's about um, creating products that do a lot, but in one product. They're very kind of like all in one, very skip care kind of oriented. And so the sunscreen is really no different because this is actually the type of sunscreen I can easily see being used as a moisturizer replacement. So this sunscreen uses two filters. It's using Uvinyl A+, which brings that UVA protection. And they're also using Tinosorb S in this one. And really, I can't stress enough how awesome this one is because it's broad spectrum, UVB and UV rays covering the full spectrum. And um, it was ac it's actually interesting because in a study, a European study that they did of like 18 different filters that are approved for use in Europe. So we're talking about really good new generation chemical filters. Um, Tinosorb S came out as the number one uh, providing the best SPF. This is a product that has been reformulated. It used to uh, contain quite a bit of essential oils, but it was reformulated. So um, unfortunately, when you go to look at this, it's gonna list essential oils because a lot of websites and blogs and things like that have the old ingredients list. But rest assured, I can confirm this is an essential oil-free product currently. Other good ingredients here that kind of help boost the overall formulation and protection of the sunscreen include niacinamide, prickly pear extract, and baobab seed extract. So as I said at the beginning of the review, I can see this being a true replacement for a moisturizer because that texture is quite a medium weight moisturizing cream texture. It does spread really nicely on the skin. It does, uh, in my, it, on my skin tone, it definitely dries invisible. I'm not seeing any type of white cast to this one at all all, no pilling on application or reapplication, and it does work really well with makeup. Now, something that I did notice on reapplication with this sunscreen, it did not pill, but it does build up like a feeling on the skin of a little bit more thickness. Um, it is a medium weight sunscreen. Of the four that we're talking about, it is the 
heaviest i hate to use that word because it doesn't feel heavy on the skin but just in comparison of the four it is the heavier one it's the more moisturizing one of them all when you reapply it it builds up that feeling even more just something to be aware of now performance wise you know what i was really pleased with this i really feel like this kept my skin very protected it was very like no fuss to use you know no pilling it worked perfectly with makeup it didn't add any shininess into my skin it didn't leave a finish on my skin at all um, in the summertime, my skin type, very classically combination, quite greasy, if you will, in the T-zone and a drier, dehydrated cheek um, U-zone. In the winter, I go a little bit more on the dry side, but I definitely deal with more oil in the summer. This didn't, A, make me look shinier, and B, I don't feel like I was producing more oil because of it or anything like that. So it was uh, just really great all around. Um, and even with the reapplication, with it feeling slightly thick on the skin, it really wasn't, it really, it really wasn't that bothersome. It, I just have to pick out all the little things that I notice, right? So give it a fair and balanced review. As far as who I would recommend this for, I mean, I really do think that this is going to be best for dry, uh, all the way to combination skin. If you are oily, I don't think this is for you. I think that this might, you know, it is a medium weight sunscreen on my combination skin. And I like, like, I like, I don't mind a thicker layer. This could start to feel heavy on oily skin, I suspect. Unless you enjoy your sunscreen as your moisturizer, you could play around with that element and that, that could poss possibly be a different way to, to use this sunscreen. Um, I think combination skin could probably use this as a replacement moisturizer as well. It'll work great on top of your moisturizer if you are dry skinned. Price-wise, um, it is $22 for 50 mil of product. It's a little on the pricey. It's not the worst. It's not the most expensive one on the list, <laughs> but it's not the least either. Um, $22, eh, you know, I do feel like for $22, it did hit all the checkpoints I needed it to. So in that sense, I believe that it's worth it. I will be honest with you, I did snag a deal <laughs> on YesStyle. They were running some kind of limited deal and I got this one for $12. So for $12, it's definitely worth it. For $22, I do still think it's worth it. And I can actually see myself purchasing the sunscreen again. Let's head over back to JB. Beauty. This is the Shiseido Anessa Perfect UV Sunscreen Mild Milk SPF 50 plus with a PA of plus four. Now this is a hybrid sunscreen. It uses chemical filters in combination with mineral filters. And what I love about this is they actually tell you how much of of the filters that they're using. So there's 12.5% of zinc oxide in this, 1.5% of uvinyl A+, 1.5% of uvinyl T150. This also uses 0.5% of tinosorb S. There is also titanium dioxide and mineral filter in the list. It just doesn't say how much. As far as antioxidants go, we just have one, but it's a very good one, and that is vitamin E. Texture of this one, um, they call it a milk. It is a milk. <laughs> This is one of those types of sunscreens where you got to shake the bottle and the little metal um, ball is in there to kind of help keep the product um, mixed up evenly. Uh, so very, very milky and fluidy as you get this out onto your hands. Spreads like a dream. Very bizarre texture though because it's when you spread it across your skin, you start to almost feel like there's a, almost a little oily or greasiness, like just a hint, a whisper to this, like a moisture to this that you weren't expecting. But, but as it, it absorbs and dries under the skin, it almost becomes like a powder finish. So bizarre, because I was like putting this on my skin, I was like, I'm gonna be shining like a disco grease ball. But then it dried almost to like a powder, like powder finish on my skin. I was like, what? So, so strange. Um, but I'm glad that it, it didn't add any shininess to my skin. Now, this is a very featherweight feel on the skin. I mean, as a, the texture, so fluidy, right, would suggest it's very light wearing on the skin. And even on reapplication, I didn't feel like it built up heavy at all. There is a white cast. Um, I will be honest with you. I bought this because I knew that it was fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and alcohol-free. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the chemical filters until after <laughs> I had like been using it for a little while. Um, and before I knew that this contained a high amount of zinc oxide, I could already detect a whisper of a white cast on my skin tone. Um, it's definitely one of those like more not super ghost ghost like types of white cast it's just like mm, 
yeah, I can see a little bit. I'm not too bothered, but it's definitely, there's definitely a little bit of that, that white cast happening. Um, and now that I know that there's a high percentage of zinc, it makes a lot of sense. They do suggest that you can use this as a makeup primer. Um, you know, I, uh, I did use this as my makeup primer, put my makeup over it, and I swear to you, my makeup clung to dry patches I didn't even know existed on my skin. Um, I don't think that my makeup looked much better. Like, I don't think it I don't think it prepared the canvas, you know? Um, uh, so for me personally, that claim, it, it, it just didn't work. Now, performance-wise, uh, up and down, 50-50 for me personally with this sunscreen. So let's start with some of the good stuff. Um, the texture I find very sophisticated. You know, uh, the first application I was like, wait, what's happening? But um, overall, I find the, the, the texture and the weight of this, the featherweight feel of this, very, very sophisticated. It feels great on the skin, really easy to reapply. Overall, it's just, it's a great sunscreen um, texture wise. Now, um, I am personally, I think I've shared, I know I've shared this before. I'm personally sensitive to zinc oxide. That is just a, um, um, a suspicion that I've had for a while that is just getting um, like reaffirmed time after time after time. Um, so the fact that there was zinc oxide in here, uh, it did aggravate my dehydration. I don't know if this is just across the board an issue for dehydrated skin or if it's just an issue for my dehydrated skin. I can only speak to my experience. For me, it made my skin feel a little bit more dry and tight. But conversely, zinc oxide, it does have um, sebum controlling properties. It can help regulate how shiny your skin can look, right? And I did notice that benefit. My, my, my T-zone wasn't like a grease ball um, by 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I, it did have some nice oil controlling properties, which can be a real uh, a bonus for a lot of people. Price-wise, you know, it's pricey. I paid $33 for this sunscreen. And um, I kind of regret it. <laughs> I kind of regret it. Um, I, I do think it is a really good product. As I said, sophisticated formulation, great texture, some fantastic, um, some fantastic oil controlling properties to it, great protection on the skin. Ultimately, it's just not right for me personally. I'll probably use this bottle up. I will not repurchase this, especially not at that price. Um, but I do think that it could be great for oily skin types and like true combo oily skin types that do not suffer from dehydration. This could be that really excellent featherweight, fluidy, beautiful, elegant sunscreen that you've been looking for. And the sunscreen you know that I just can't get enough of. It is the Purita Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen, SPF 50 PA+. For. This uses two uh, new generation chemical filters, 3% of Uvinyl A+, and 2% of Uvinyl T150. This is another sunscreen that is jam-packed full of antioxidants. This has centella, metacasicide, asiaticide, metacasic acid, and asiatic acid. Plus this has niacinamide in it, and these are all great ingredients to help boost the overall formulation of the sunscreen. The texture of this, it's very light and creamy. It um, absorbs in the skin very quickly. It dries invisible, no white casts with this one. This one does not pill on my skin or on reapplication. And even when I reapply it, I do feel that it still maintains that lightweight feel. This texture actually incredibly similar to the first sunscreen we talked about from Verdio. This sunscreen from Purito, however, doesn't have that moisturization that the Verdio has, and it doesn't leave that richness on the top of your skin. Now I say this one for last because you know it's the one I always talk about. I feel like I'm boring you guys to death, but like I have been using this for almost a year straight. It is the sunscreen for me, and I couldn't be happier with it. Um, it just provides really good protection for my skin. I find it really easy to use. The texture is so pleasing, it's lightweight, it's got a little hydrating feel to it easy to reapply without pilling. I can reapply it over my makeup because there's no white cast, it's, it dries invisible. I'm gonna touch on that right after this, so, so hang tight if you wanna learn how to reapply sunscreen over makeup. It doesn't aggravate my sensitive skin, you know? It doesn't aggravate my dehydration. It just, it, the formula agrees with my skin 
beautifully. What more can be said? Oh, right, the price. It's $12, $12 for 60 milliliters of product. Like it's just, it's so affordable. It's so easy to always have on hand. It's not breaking my wallet and it makes my skin happy. I mean, I couldn't ask for any more. So I think that this could work for all skin types. Quite honestly, I really do. Um, I know on the more oily side, if you're very, very, very um, sensitive to like more creamy types of textures, try this one maybe more as your moisturizer rather than on top of your moisturizer combination skin I think you're gonna love this um, uh, dehydrated skin you're gonna love this dry skin you're gonna love this um, I think that it can it can fit a wide range of skin types so there are a couple of different ways that you can reapply your sunscreen over makeup like sprays or powders I personally have found them to be kind of expensive and a lot of times especially with the sprays they contain ingredients like alcohol which just don't jive really well with my skin so um, one way that I've discovered to reapply uh, sunscreen over makeup is actually really easy and really affordable. All you need is your current sunscreen and a Ruby Cell Puff. This is the puff that comes in cushion foundations. What you need to do is to um, dab the sunscreen across your face. You just wanna get some, e you wanna make sure that you're getting even coverage. And so I just kind of dot it around you see I'm not rubbing it in I'm just sort of dotting it okay so it looks kind of crazy I will admit but this is a good way to just make sure that you get enough on um, I found that dabbing it on like this is a little bit better than like putting it onto your hand and dabbing the puff into the sunscreen something that I used to do but this way I just feel like I get enough sunscreen so now what we're gonna do is just use the Ruby cell puff and tap it just like you would cushion foundation into your skin so no swiping no rubbing nothing just tapping it in up and down um, into the skin this method really works best with sunscreens that do not have like a thick texture and that dry invisibly and there you go I mean it's really simple it, it takes like under a minute to do that you will need to experiment with what sunscreen jives with your foundation I will admit not every sunscreen works for this method um, I can definitely recommend the Purita Centella green level unscented sunscreen this is the sunscreen that I use all the time to reapply over my makeup the high gay actually works really similarly um, to the Purita the Verdeo and Anessa these textures are slightly looser than high gay and um, purito and I find the like slightly more liquidy textures a little bit more difficult to work with with this method both of these I did notice shifted my foundation slightly not in a way that it was ruined I just needed a touch up it is a method worth exploring especially if you're on a budget because you don't have to buy any additional expensive sunscreen products all you need is the ruby cell puff you can rescue these from old cushion foundations or you can buy them in like five packs these run like a dollar like a piece for one of these right so very 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 affordable you can wash and reuse them as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully that little tip for reapplying your sunscreen over makeup was really helpful for you guys so let me know what sunscreen are you currently using right now if you haven't hit subscribe yet please consider subscribing to my channel if this video helped you I release two new Korean skincare focused videos every single week turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop because the mineral sunscreen version is coming really soon so I hope you guys are having a fantastic day I can't wait to see you in the next video I hope you are healthy happy and safe and I'll talk to you soon bye